Okay, a bit of an interesting topic for today. I've been trying to think if one could discuss what would be the best kit all round. Of course, that's very topical, very... Um, everyone's got their own opinion. But let's have a go at it. And then write your comments and uh, let's, see, let's see how close we can get. Now, of course, it won't be to a specific type of aircraft, but it'll be close to box size, aircraft size, nature of topic, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's start with the obvious. Um, small Airfix is great, very nice little build, but a bit small. Um, that's not really, that's not going to leave you with the feeling of that was my best build ever and I want to get 10 more of them. We need something a little bit bigger. Okay, how about the twin? Yes, it is a little bit better, but this is still a little bit small and the quality isn't that great. Well, let's chuck that one out. But we may be heading in the right direction. You know, interesting topics, but um, it's still a bit too small. We need to go a bit bigger. Um, you know, you got bigger boxing. And then the Spitfire came in a slightly more impressive boxing. But still, 172nd probably with a single engine just isn't going to do it for us. 148. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. This is the obvious that we could have started with. Um, excellent topic. Uh, 148 single engine aircraft. I'll rule out Hasegawa as, a, as the um, manufacturer because this would have been out of the price range for most modelers growing up. Um, you know, obviously there's a certain point you reach where you can afford all of them, but Hasegawa was almost a bit more of an elite thing. Great model, perfect. Um, and, and would leave you with that feeling of you, you've done an absolutely excellent job on the model, but not really within the grasp of most modelers. Well, how about something like that? That is bigger, that is nice, but it's almost a little bit boring. We don't have propellers, sure, we do have jets, we've got undercarriage, but an airliner, but simple, plain fuselage, and maybe 144th scale isn't going to really grab you. We'll rule that out. How about a bigger model? And this, this to me is a contender. Um, although Airfix isn't the greatest in this particular model, we've got an aircraft that's a whole lot bigger, but not too big. Uh, definitely was within the price range of, and the availability of most people growing up. Well, okay, let's look at this one then. Sort of the the more modern equivalent of that box size. Very good quality, but, and I'm building this one, and, and I'm enjoying it, of course, so no criticism of the model, but it's almost got too many parts for the size of aircraft to leave you with the thought that you that you built your best model. Because um, they sort of go back to that Hasegawa Dauntless and say, well, you know, that's sort of got the right balance of parts. Um, it was a, was a great aircraft. It was just the cost of the kit, really. So I'm going to rule this one out, even though the size is really great and the manufacturer is great. It's just got a bit too much, too much work that needs to be done there. Okay, well, how about this then? Equivalent size to the Dauntless, although this is 172nd, so we're talking model size now. How big this thing is in your hands to build? Um, not, not a ridiculous amount of parts, but, but enough to keep you busy and not overwhelm you. So it's, you know, it's not as simple as a Spitfire or anything. Your finished product is a 
a whole lot better than a small I mean don't get me wrong you're not you're not writing whether this is better than a Spitfire or better than a Mustang you're writing it as to whether you felt that that build was a really awesome build and this particular Academy is really great quality let down by the decals but that sort of doesn't bother kids and it, it almost didn't bother a lot of people up until the time you started getting really perfectionistic about models so that would be a contender for me this one is very similar smaller box um, so it makes almost the same aircraft more available a little bit less well a fair bit less quality but I'd, I'd put that one along with that so so far we've sort of got three three in the same sort of styling better than a single engine and a nice build um, single jet old style very very affordable very um, available um, and in fact probably a large number of models modelers have built this kit very nice but again a little bit underwhelming in the end same story as the dauntless but more affordable less well i shouldn't say less parts um i'd like to say an easier build but that probably wouldn't be true but a very impressive aircraft um for the money that you're spending on it so what about then okay we're back back to the old trusty 148 and top quality Tamiya single engine now this of course is in fact the staple of a huge number of modelers they have built this and they have loved the outcome of their model so that's definitely in what about a bit of a bit of a bigger jet compared to that F-16 this Viking, yep, I would say this would definitely be a model that would leave you feeling that you have built uh, a really great kit. Not, not ridiculously big. Not overwhelming. So what can we rule out of this pile? This is of course um, almost the newer generation of really great kits. Not representative of the 80s and maybe to a degree a little bit the 90s um, a little bit more costly but these days totally affordable well which one would you chuck out i think most of you would agree out goes the sky raider we keep the spitfire probably most of you would agree out goes that one What about these two? Mm, not so easy a choice now. Um, the better build and the more reliable outcome for a nice model, probably the Viking. Let's keep that one. Okay, so we've got a choice of three. What could be the overall most impressive aircraft that you would find most modelers voting for and i guess it has to come down to the 148th fighter so as nice as these are and as good value for money as they are i think in the end it is going to come down to your 148th warbird your best all-round aircraft kit a actually since most modelers build aircraft i would say the best all-round kit at all and the best manufacturer. Do you agree?